Hello. Oh, cannot believe today. Woke up to a cold, cold start and now we're in a t-shirt. It's lovely. Oh, it's really beautiful. So good to get out as well, you know. It's easy, isn't it, to spend too long indoors. I'm uh, as guilty as, of doing that as anybody else. You get warm, you get comfortable, you've got some food, you've got your Slurpee, a bit of music, whatever. And you think, oh, I'll go out later. And later doesn't come, you know, before too long, it's um, the evening time. The clocks in the UK, hello. <laughs> the clocks went back an hour, um, Saturday night. So it's very, very dark in the evening. So if you don't get up and get out, you end up not going out. Ah. So we're just on a little bimble, just for a few minutes. I had to go to the post office today, post some art. So thank you very much. If you purchased a piece of my art, Really do appreciate it. Come away, Bode. Come on. Come on, my love. Good boy. <sighs> Doing nothing. <laughs> Doing nothing in particular. How wonderful is that? Doing nothing. I think we've got. We've got two versions of ourselves, and we've got the drama self, and we've got the reality self. And the reality self is firmly fixed in the now, here. The reality of Bry is uh, getting warm under the sun, quiet, nature, crunchy leaves, smile. That's the reality of Bry now, because the reality is the now. But the drama self, is set quite firmly in the background, in the past. Wow. It's beautiful. So beautiful. I'm so blessed to live here. Um, skies. So the, the reality self is now, but the drama self is firmly only back there somewhere where we don't want and I've talked about this before really but it's about um, trying to move on past past your past you know trying to people say don't they learning to let go and I agree with that and it is a case of learning a case of learning because we live in a world of learned behavior anyway so we got our moral comp compass which is learned behavior what's um, morally expected and accepted uh, cannot believe today you have to forgive me and while I soak it up how many more days will we have like this eh? I might as well soak it up now as I say get out if you can Yeah, so we've got obviously learned behavior. We do something, if it doesn't work, we don't do it again. We do something, if it works and we're comfortable with it, then we carry on doing it. It's just a form of learned behavior. So if you've got some public speaking to do, and the very first time you stand up and your legs turn to jelly, you start sweating and blah, blah, blah. You learn from that, so the second time you do it, you think, oh God, I don't like doing this. So you tell yourself you don't like doing it, and uh, you don't do a very good job of it, and your legs turn even more to jelly, and you start shaking even more. And then the third time you do it, you're shaking, and turning to jelly, and all the rest of it, even long, long before, long before, you've got to do the public speaking, a week before. So it becomes learned behavior. Go on, Bode. Um, 
So when we think about what I class as those two selves, the, the reality self and the drama self, and the learned behaviour, it's all about the ego really, it's about stepping back, and the drama self is about stepping back. So, come on my boy! <laughs> Can you see my boy? Hello! Where are you going? So if it is the ego, now the ego loves drama, the ego, he's having a wee, that's a pleasurable uh, sight for you, the ego loves to be in the past and what the ego does, it drags that past into today and uh, this way darling please, hello, <laughs> go on my friend, um, yeah so the ego loves to drag the past into today you know and I, I know several people, quite a lot of people really like this, that they kind of live, boat, come out of the water, come on. They live very, very much in the past. And one person is springing to mind, probably why I'm making this video really, but um, he is so much in the past. There's no now about him whatsoever. Um, I don't think he's ever spoken about the future. And that's cold because nobody knows what the future's gonna hold. But he doesn't live in the now. If I went to see him right now, he would talk about, well, various subjects, but he would talk about, certainly he would talk about three subjects within the first five minutes. One being um, what a girlfriend said to him when he was 16, bearing in mind he's in his 40s. He would mention that because he has done every single time I've ever met him. Um, he would mention about a family member that he no longer sees, you know, and there's one other topic really which, I don't know why he doesn't die of boredom, really. <laughs> you know, but that's the drama self, but he drags this drama into today. You know, he, well, the ego allows him to bring it into today all the time, you know. And he doesn't live in reality. He doesn't deal with the now, this second now. Wonderful. And my little analogy, monetary, my little analogy is, imagine if we had a book that was called The Reality Of, and then your name. So if I open my little book now, and I have a, a read, I'll read you a page, The Reality Of Brian, my book is called. Yours is called The Reality Of Whatever Your Name Is. The Reality Of Bry. So, choose today's date. There's nothing in it. Sorry, nothing. I can feel bits in. Okay, warm, peace, Bodie Woods. Happy, blue skies. There you go. So I've got a little bit of my book today. And that's because I'm living in reality. Whereas this guy, if he opened up his book today, it would be 25 years ago this happened. When I was 16, this happened. Yeah, and it goes on and on and on. And this guy's suffering, and I've spoken to him, and I've, I've kind of told him that he's suffering. But he doesn't get it, he just, well, you know, these things, you know, happen, everything shapes you. Your, um, your past shapes you. I don't really agree on that. I think your, your past has valuable lessons. I mean, I'm not saying don't go to the past, don't dip into the past. We should all dip into the past and we should live in the now and we should have hopes and dreams for the future. Of course we should, so we should be in all three places. But in moderation and uh, probably 90% be in the now because that's all you've got. That's all we've got. No. Bodhi, don't lick. That's all we've really got is the now because the past is the past, you know. But he suffers, you see, and I'd like to help him, and I've tried to help him, and uh, I've got bored of trying, if I'm honest, because he just says, no, you know, this, you know, these things happened, you know, this is how I feel about them. I said, yeah, but they're back there, surely. The people, the girl that said to him when he was 16, she said something to him that he didn't like. He hasn't seen her since she was 16. He's in his 40s, so she could be dead. She could be married with children, she could be living abroad. She wouldn't even know his name. She certainly wouldn't remember those six words that she said to him. So let it go. 
he doesn't need it. And if you don't let it go, what are you going to do? Create more suffering. Suffering. And that's what the ego is allowing him to do. That is the drama self, because he doesn't have a reality self, sadly. He really doesn't. And I do feel very, very sorry for him. He's also, uh, he's an energy vampire, which I'll talk about in another video, perhaps. Um, but I do feel sorry for him, but there's, there doesn't seem to be any way through, no. Bird, this way, mate. Come on. Bird. Hello, darling. Wow, look at you. In the sunshine, Mr. Solar Face. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be any help in him. He has no friends, and I'm spending less and less time with him, I'll be honest, you know, because his suffering has a knock-on effect and it makes me suffer. I come away feeling absolutely drained when we've spoken, knowing that there's no help in him. And he doesn't want any help, he wants to be stuck back there 20 years, 30 years. Awful, isn't it? So, really just to sort of... Oh... I'll turn the video off, I'll turn it back on in a sec. Bless her. Um, it's a friend of mine from the village. And uh, she's got a little dog. And Bodhi likes to play with her dog. I didn't see her, didn't hear her. And then suddenly they were there. So I thought I'd pause the video. So yeah, we're back for a minute or two. If you can stick with me or not. Um... So this guy, sadly, he doesn't have a reality self. He only has a drama self. And what a shame that is, you know. We've all got both those sides. And um, it's up to us, I suppose, where we want to see ourselves. I see myself firmly in the reality of what I am, where I am, who I am now. I've got a past. We've all got a past, haven't we? You know. Like I say, you can dip into your past if there's some valuable lessons there. You can go back to the past and remember happy times. It's not about forgetting the past at all. But just don't live there. No. <laughs> there you are. I called you. Didn't know where you was. Hello. <laughs> My little boy. Yeah, so, the drama self and the reality self, you know, I may be talking rubbish, I don't think I am, I think, I think I'm right on that. You know, we all have an ego, and the ego is just, it's difficult to explain what the ego is really, but it's, um, I suppose it's, uh, it's what we think we are, not what we truly are. So, like, you've got a set of beliefs, haven't you? Well, they come from the ego, really. Oh, you believe this and you believe that and you think like this and you think like that and you always have done. That's the ego talking. It's not the reality of you today, of the current situation. You know, we chop and change, or we should do. Chop and change our minds to fit the person we are now. And they say, they say, I, I can't remember what it is, but they say something like, you shed your skin and in... Nine weeks, you're a brand new person, <laughs> you know, in that skin. But also, other organs. I know the liver replaces itself after a while. I think so does most things. So we become new people, so why don't, why don't we have new thoughts? You know, and accept the reality of us now. I don't delve into the past, you know, unless we need to. Valuable lessons are there. Uh, funny, humorous stories are back there. Memories of lost people are back there. I get all that. That's fine. But what we don't need is the drama that's back there. We don't need to bring that into today. It ruins today. It adds to the suffering. And therefore, your suffering, like this guy, his suffering affects me in a way that I end up suffering because when I leave him I'm just I'm all out of energy I'm exasperated I'm I'm annoyed and um, I'm kind of upset I suppose that I can't help him he doesn't want help so that's fine 
because people don't sometimes. What a life. Honestly, if I went there now and knocked on his door, he would say three things to me that he said to me just on Thursday. He would say those three things. And he also said the Monday when I saw him. And a couple of weeks prior to that, I saw him and he said the same. And if I didn't see him now for the next 20 years, if I'm still alive, he would say exactly the same. Exactly. And he suffers with it as well. You know, so please don't delve too much into the past. You know, and the drama you, that really does need leaving in the past. As I say, we've got the drama, the drama us and the reality. Of, look at my bag. Posha tells you, nice. My handbag. A handbag. <laughs> that contained a piece of art a minute ago. Um, a handbag. Christ knows where that came from. Yeah, so the drama self is done. Yeah? Let it lie. Leave it alone. Welcome to the reality self. Now. Bird! I saw you licking. Go on then, go up that way. Go. Go? <laughs> I haven't got it. I know what you're after. We haven't bought it because we're just having a bimble. Be a double L, obviously. All I've got, Bode, is a hand, <laughs> Anyway, take care. Bode's being really silly now. Ta then. Enjoy your day. Stay in the reality.